Hey guys, I'm with the man of today, Gerard Butler, and he's he's smelling pretty good. And now I'm with the man of yesterday, AJ Calloway, because he's two years off the market, and he's. <laughs> hey, how are you, man? Oh Lord. <laughs> Thank you. interview I ever had. Yeah, I'm not going to get yeah. a chance to say anything. It doesn't matter. You don't even have to talk. We just want to <laughs> We just want to look at you. Clooney is off the list now. He was the most eligible bachelor. So now I I'm I'm putting you in his spot. Okay. Are you ready to fill those shoes yeah. or are you going to jump you're going to jump away like Clooney? We'll, we'll see. I mean, I, I I'll take that title right now, but I am actually seeing somebody right now, but but we're not married. Okay. You know, so, I don't know, does that still make me a bachelor? You're still a bachelor. Okay, so I'm still a bachelor. Yes, yeah. very much so. Yeah. No, very, you've been yeah. going with the flow. You're not chilling. You're in Malibu. You're in the mountains. You're surfing. Is it Gerard or Jerry? Uh, Jerry. Jerry, because yeah. uh, Jan Addison is a friend of mine, and she was here, and she kept calling you Jerry, and I was like, oh, well, then it's Jerry, but I didn't want to assume. But no, I know. It's, people still call me uh, Gerard or Gerard, and it always sounds a little weird. Uh huh. My, that was uh, kind of the property of my mother. Right. So whenever I hear that, I'm always a little bit like, like you're in trouble. Of, yeah, right. I'm in trouble. Gerard. Yeah. 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 Exactly. All right. Um, Is that how you keep the the physique by doing all that? Yeah. Uh, to, to, to what physique? But yeah. What yeah. No, I do. <laughs> yeah, no, no, wait, wait. It's no, hard. It's go. hard. Hey. 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 All right, um, Jerry. Uh, so. <laughs> I saw you at the Oscars. You looked very, very handsome. And was that your first time at the Oscars? First time, yeah. Yeah? I had um, a couple of times at the Golden Globes and other... Bradley um... Cooper, look at that. <laughs> were you, were it was you amazing. Were... I got to tell you. What's your you? guilty pleasure? What would you say is your guilty pleasure? Are you a your sweets person like that? I, I, I can be. You know, sometimes I find that I'm all savory and, and, and I no interest in that. And then it kicks off. And mm. it's like, I don't just want one dessert, I want four. I'm like, is that bread and butter pudding? Oh, I love bread. Is that spot? You say, what is that? What is I gotta tell were you, you nervous or were you? No, I wasn't, I wasn't actually nervous because, you know, we, we knew what we were going to say. We mm -hmm. weren't, you know, exactly, we weren't trying to make any jokes. It was very straightforward, but it was just more, it was exciting. And, and I don't know about you, but sometimes you do these things, you do them a lot. You become a little jaded. They can feel like more of a responsibility. But the, right. from the second we went to rehearse, we both, me and Bradley, were like, wow, uh -huh. this is actually the Oscars, and this is insane, and it's huge, and it's exciting. And, and, and then it changes from uh, sparkling water to, and can I have a Coca-Cola with those French fries? Uh. And uh, we got a double cheeseburger, and, uh, <laughs> and then just bring those four desserts. And I like to, as, as a friend of mine always says, that's enough now, Piggy, which is a slightly amended line from Babe, Babe the movie. <laughs> That's but enough now, Piggy. I'm like, oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's fine. But then, you know, and then you're right down there at the front, and I have, you know, Quentin Tarantino behind me, Helen Mirren, Steve Carell. And uh, is it, it, I just, I heard you just got back from Brazil and India and Iceland. Is it, did you go to Iceland? Well, I've been to Iceland a few times. Um, really? I made a movie. I made a Biking movie in Iceland right. yeah, a few years ago, and I became hooked on the place. I mean, to me, it's... Iceland and Scotland are my two favorite places to be it on the It seems planet. beautiful. It's Congratulations. Yeah. How does it feel being the global... I can't even talk now, Jay. Let's try that again. The global ambassador for, for, for Hugo Boss. Feels great, man. It's a, it's a real honor. I, I think one of the things that defines the, the, the idea behind this com campaign, which I love, is that it kind of retains that the classic identity of what it is to be a man, you know, mm. a lot of strength and hardworking, and, and I've done those things. I've worked very, very hard in my career. So you go there a lot? Well, I've been there maybe three times now, mm -hmm. and, and I've done some adventuring there. Because it was a Viking movie, we filmed in all these insane places, you know, from volcanic flows to ash beaches to, you know, cliff tops, and then up on the glaciers. We filmed in the glaciers, and, and when I went back, the last time and went on an adventure, my buddy, who is an adventurer, he's an Icelandic guy, um, we ended up in this huge big 4x4 four four Jeep off-road, going through rivers that literally were up to here on the car. And but then, nowadays, also as a man that can be emotional, be vulnerable and have a lot of fun and, 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 and has compassion, and I've, I've always tried to, to show those sides to my, to my character as well. So it's like an alpha male, but not at the cost of, of everybody else. You know, it's um, a nice kind of blend.